Here at Sunken Meadow State Park on the north shore of Long Island holds one of the most important estuarine habitats. And while everyone is going for the beaches and trails, in the background, the salt marshes are going to work. The Sunken Meadow Creeks have been flowing freely throughout the park. Though, a man-made berm across Sunken Meadow Creek was constructed as a part of Sunken Meadow State Park in the early 1950s. Undersized culverts were installed with it and restricted the natural tidal flow. New York State Parks was planning to remove the berm, but Superstorm Sandy thought of the same idea and quickly eroded it and destroyed it, restoring the natural tidal flow. Because of the obstructed tidal flow, Phragmites, a freshwater common reed, was able to invade the marsh. The freshwater reed Phragmites is a non-native invasive species in the salt marsh. It robs fish, plants, and wildlife of nutrients and space. An animal that keeps the marsh intact and living are ribbed mussels. These mussels can grow 2 to 4 inches in length, are glossy, and contain ribbed shells that can vary in color from olive to yellowish brown to black. A large group of ribbed mussels live in our marshes and help filter and clean the water entering the marsh. During low tides, ribbed mussels close their shells, keeping in waste products that are toxic to humans. They aren't very tasty and are very rough to eat. Not only that, when they poop, they poop marsh! At least you have four more reasons not to post these helpful buddies. Another animal here on the marsh are the fiddler crabs, named because of the extreme difference in the size of the claws of the male, with a larger claw resembling a fiddle. Their feeding and burrowing keeps the marshes clean and helps them grow. The hollow burrows of fiddler crab communities help the aerate the sediment of the marsh too. More than just tasty treats, an animal critical to the salt marsh ecosystems are the eastern oysters. They feed wildlife, promote biodiversity, stabilize the shorelines, and most importantly, filter the water too. Brentwood environmental interns have played a large role in restoration efforts in the park. Students have not only participated in the restoration efforts, but have also investigated a variety of scientific questions. A common grass for salt marshes is Spartinol trinoflora. It is critical for sediment stabilization and serves as nursery grounds for estuarine fish and vertebrates. Salt marshes are tidal influence habitats, which means that it's flooded and drained by salt water brought in by the tides. Their soil is composed of deep mud and peat, which is made of decomposing plant matter. It's also several feet thick, waterlogged, root filled, and are very spongy. Peat suffers from having low oxygen caused by tides and the decomposing plant matter, which causes a sulfurous kind of smell, like rotten eggs. Many people wonder if their personal life will be affected by the degradation of our local salt marshes. If salt marshes were to degrade faster, storms and hurricanes would come stronger and faster, which would wreck our homes worse than any storm we've seen. This would also affect Sunken Meadow State Park by causing the waves to be stronger and ruin our beaches that we love to attend. Our green community would turn gray and cause our lives to be harder than it already is. If we want to take care of our community, our friends, and neighbors, and even ourselves in one way, it's by protecting our local salt marshes. If our hard-working coastal ecosystems live on to protect us, we might just see more beauty in Sunken Meadow than ever before. Always remember that some things never change.